Pickleball is amazing, right? It is legitimately my new favorite sport. So I am very excited to give you some pointers on eyewear. Stick around. Hello and welcome, I'm Mike Glass Tyler. Today we are talking everything you need to know about pickleball eyewear. This is, I mean, I'm a little late to the game, I think. Pickleball has been a growing passion for a while. People are loving it. I actually got to just during Christmas time, some family came out and pretty much the entire week we played pickleball. It was so much fun. I'm really excited to get into this. The buyer's guide here will cover what to look for in frame and lens tech, which features are right for actually both outdoor and indoor games, and what makes a good pickleball frame just in general. We're also gonna share some top picks, as you can see here, talk about those a little bit, what to expect out of those. If at the end of this, you're ready to buy, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our Seabitter guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You actually have as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription. We just want you to be happy, so we'll take care of you. All right, let's get into this. So first off, what to look for in frame technology. Fit obviously is incredibly important. You don't want something that is too tight. That kind of goes without saying, might be obvious, but you also want it to be not too loose. Again, that sounds like something that, yeah, why do you need to tell me that? I don't want it to be too tight or too loose. Obviously, if it's too tight, it's gonna give you headaches. It's gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to mess with them. That's, I think the best thing you can say about any eyewear is you can put it on and you can forget about it. It's really there to help you to perform. It is there to help you not to distract you. So you get to focus on the game. Grip is really important as well. I like grip in the nose and if possible in the temples as well. Some frames are designed to wrap around the ear. Some frames are designed with straight back temples to more kind of hold onto the head. And there is a good balance of pressure so that there's not so much that it causes headaches or is uncomfortable, but enough that it will keep the frame on your head. And I will get into an example of that when we get into the frames here. With grip, obviously it's gonna help keep it in place so that is a really good idea and definitely something you don't want to be without. Another thing that you want to take into consideration is lens curvature. Uh, base curve is the term that we use for measuring the this unit of measurement for curvature of a lens and six base and eight base. The eight base is more wrapped, six base is a little flatter. There are pros and cons to both. The pros for a six base, a flatter lens is going to be for one, you have a little more stylish design if you're not a big fan of the kind of that sporty look. If you're looking for something that you can wear on and off the court, a six base is gonna probably be more up your alley. Uh, the other pro for a six base is that it's better RX ability. If you need prescription eyewear like I do, a less curved lens is going to handle a wider range of prescriptions. Downsides of a six base lens are you're not going to get the kind of coverage that you get out of a more wrapped eight base lens. You're not going to get that same kind of peripheral vision. You're not going to get the same kind of protection no matter where your head is at. So that is something to be aware of. With an eight base, obviously the pros are you get great coverage. You have all of that peripheral vision no matter where you're at because when you're running around the court, it's one of the things I like about pickleball, especially when you're playing doubles, you don't have to run quite as much as with say tennis. So, and it's, a, you know, not as fast, but still with an eight base, you can spot the ball more likely wherever you're turned. The downside of an eight base lens is it usually means you're getting a much more sporty design. It usually means that you are getting something that might be less friendly off the court or look less lifestyle off the court. Uh, but it does give you the performance on the court. Also, the downside is the inverse of the six base. It's not quite as RXable. You can't put the same kind of range of prescriptions usually in a more wrap design. Another thing to be concerned with when it comes to frame tech is the frame material. I personally really don't like metal frames in general in my life. I'm not a huge fan of metal frames, but especially for pickleball because they are usually more prone to breaking. If you were to take a ball to the face, there's a chance that they will break more likely than if you get a good impact resistant plastic frame. 
The impact resistant frames like our, some of our favorites are Oakley with their O-Matter, Grillamid, TR90s, Nylon occasionally. Uh, it feels more comfortable while also protecting you from that dastardly ball. That is kind of the other positive, I think. The, the benefit to pickleball is that that ball is a lot uh, nicer, kinder when it hits you, but still you wanna be wearing something that's gonna be able to handle impact. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about pickleball eyewear, or perhaps you have prescription needs, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert sport records opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. For even more pickleball frame reviews, unboxings, and prescription pickleball content, check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Now we'll break down lens tech for both outdoor and indoor games. When it comes to outdoor, we're talking sunglasses, we're talking dark lenses. I don't recommend polarized. Polarized is great for cutting glare. Polarized is good for general all around use. You don't really get any of the benefits of polarized while playing, but you do have to deal with the downsides, which is that it can skew depth perception, which is crucial for judging the distance, for judging the speed of the ball, the spin of the ball. It can affect that, and since you don't really benefit anything from polarized, and you can potentially have the those issues to be concerned with, it's better to just be rid of it entirely. Go with a non-polarized lens. Contrast enhancement is a big one though. I always recommend something that's contrast enhancing for really any ball sport, definitely for pickleball. It's gonna help you spot and track the ball a lot better. It's gonna help you read the ball a lot better. Some of our favorites when it comes to contrast enhancing lenses would be Oakley Prism is a really big one. Uh, I haven't yet had the opportunity to figure out which Prism sport lens is the best for pickleball. That's definitely on the docket to do. Uh, in terms of just everyday lenses, I would definitely recommend the Prism Ruby to let a little more light through on uh, days that you want a little more light to your eyes, or Tungsten if you like a lens that isn't quite as bold and blocks a little more light transmission, but you're getting that Prism enhancement. Outside of Oakley, we actually have a really good lineup of lenses that we call our Sport Optimized lenses that I love. I think in terms, I'm gonna get into uh, variable lenses a little later and I'll, I'll talk a little more about those then because we have really good options in variable lenses. But in a more fixed tint lens, I really like our start to finish. Definitely check that out. If you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to our opticians because they are very knowledgeable and extremely friendly and would love to help you. Now, when it comes to indoor games, don't think that just because you're indoors, you can forego eyewear. Still is really a good idea to be wearing eye protection and you can still get some enhancement. Obviously, if you wear prescription, this is a given, but for those non-prescription wearers out there, there are still benefits that you can gain. Uh, performance wise with the proper eyewear. If you wanna go with a completely clear lens, I always recommend a premium top shelf anti-reflective coating because you're indoors and you have artificial light, it helps to minimize the issues like halos around lights and just gives you the best vision you can possibly get. But even better than that, something like a lightly tinted option would be awesome. Something like a rose copper or an amber, kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now. This is actually the Prism Gaming Lens. It's more of an amber, uh, which the Prism Gaming Lens is also available in prescription for Oakley Eyewear, but it's not in their sun. So if you like a, a good sunglass lens, even if you're wearing it indoors, you want a lighter lens, there are options there, which again, I'll get into, uh, but this is only available in their eyeglass line but there actually are some good eyeglass frames that you could get Prism Gaming in that would still be really good for pickleball, but then we're talking just prescription. We don't have to get into that. When it comes to indoor, lightly tinted, prescription or not, I think it's really a good idea to go for a rose copper or an amber, because it's gonna make that ball pop. Now, outside of those options, if you want something that's a little more versatile, I said I was gonna get into variable, so here we are, transitions lenses. By the way, Transitions is just the name of a brand. Photochromic is the more generic term, but Transitions is usually the brand of lenses that we use because they're among the best options out there. Really, really good option if you're figuring out if you prefer indoor games versus outdoor games, or if you like to play both because you have that versatility. The Transitions are Photochromic, if you're unfamiliar with that, what that is. Indoors, it'll be clear or possibly depending on the kind that you get, lightly tinted and then you go outside and it gets to a darker state to protect you better in brighter light conditions. It is very convenient obviously and there can still be some performance benefits. This is where I recommend our sport optimized lenses that I referred to earlier. 
Uh, we have a lot of really great options that are a transitions lens that have a custom tint. So at its lightest state, it'll have that lighter tint to help give you that contrast enhancement, even indoors, even when the light is not activating the lenses. Then you go outside and it builds off of that lens tint. That's that base custom lens tint and it gets even darker and just as good outside. So amazing options there. The ones that I'm thinking of in particular are either the ACE lens or the all-in-one lens. Both of those are amazing. Again, reach out to our opticians with any questions there, but we definitely have you covered. Also something to consider if you want versatility, you can go with something that has interchangeable lenses. Interchangeable lenses will allow you to have the perfect lens no matter where you're playing, what time of day, what conditions. You can have one frame chassis and you can swap it out for the perfect lens that moment. While talking lenses, the other thing to consider, which is an obvious, is regardless of playing indoors or outdoors, you need an impact resistant lens. There may be a chance that you're here for that reason, primarily you're looking for something safe and that is a really good idea. And maybe you're only learning that there are other performance benefiting options that you can get in your eyewear, but you for sure want something that is an impact resistant lens. Our favorites are Trivex, Oakley's Plutonite, or really anything that's gonna be that ASTM F803, very much a mouthful, uh, but the certified lenses, something in a sport goggle, which again, I will get into, those are lenses that you can get in prescription or non-prescription that are rated for sport use and really can take some impact because eye injuries are a real thing. All right, so for frame recommendations, one of our top picks always in the front line of really any sport frame is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. If you have been following any videos we've done, then you have seen this frame a hundred times. And it's for good reason, because it's still an amazing frame. You have a full wrap eight base, their grip material that they call unobtainium, which is a hydrophilic material, which grips actually better as you sweat rather than being more prone to sliding, is on the nose as well as all over the temple. And with this temple, you have a cam hinge design that has no spring hinges, which I love because it's fewer things to break. The temples are actually more prone to pop off rather than break off for any accidental thing that might happen to the temples. These are interchangeable, so this is a really good option or example of a frame that's great for any number of lenses that you might want to have the absolute perfect lens for whatever conditions or place you are playing. These are also extremely RXable, uh, very surprisingly RXable. I did mention that a more wrapped design becomes less RXable. Thanks to Oakley's lab, they actually are able to handle a really wide range of prescriptions. So if you feel like you are out of range for most wrapped designs, Check this out. Again, call our opticians. They can help you for sure with your particular prescription. There's a fair chance that you can get a good wrap design, even in stronger prescriptions. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which lands you in the men's medium to large range or a women's large. One thing I'll say about this style is that it is very forgiving in fit. It is one frame that we call it one size fits most because it really is surprisingly versatile in its fit, probably thanks to their three point fit system and this temple design and that O matter and everything else that makes this frame great. Anyway, awesome style, especially if you're looking for something sporty. Next up, we have the Wiley X Gamer. This is gonna be for those looking for the best protection possible. This has that ASTM F803, like I mentioned, they are fully certified even when you get them in prescription. The thing I love about the Gamer, uh, obviously this is gonna be for a person looking for that more sport goggle design, but if you are unfamiliar with sport goggles and the options out there, usually you have to decide whether you get a temple version like this or a strap version or a, what they sometimes call a goggle version. Wiley designed these to be convertible, which is great. You can pop the temples off and you can replace it with the included strap. If you aren't sure what style works best for you, that goggle design or the temple design, even with the temples, of course, you do have the strap that can attach to the little holes here at the ends of the temple. But despite all of that, despite how well this is gonna stay on your face, thanks to the strap options, you still have grip. You have grip all over the temple where it meets the top of the ear. You also have a really beefy nose piece here that is going to absorb really any impact that these frames might take because that's where you're gonna feel it. If you get hit in the face, you're gonna feel it in the nose because that's 
that just makes sense logically. And so that's where you get the most uh, impact forgiveness in this frame design. Very RXable as well. And when it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 131, which is a pretty solid medium for both men and women. Kind of on the larger end of medium for women and on the smaller end of medium for men, but really a, a pretty hard medium. And then I also threw this guy in here because this is what I was wearing when I was playing all week. This is our frame. This is the Sporter X Coda. It is definitely a good example of the more lifestyle option. This is a six base lens curvature, but you do have grip in the temple. You do have grip on the nose. That was obviously very important to us. Again, that simple cam hinge design, which is super secure, really strong. Uh, it does have one screw, so it doesn't have that same uh, kind of pop-off design, but really simple and honestly really durable. Great straightforward frame, great straightforward lens design. I like the Coda. We have a couple of other options as well. We have one for women that's called the Aviva. We have another one that's a little larger, a little more square than this called the Huxon. All of them amazing thanks to that grip, thanks to this more kind of athleisure sport design. One thing I will say is with these in my pair, I could have used an anti-fog coating. That was my biggest complaint. Otherwise, these stayed on my face. And of course, the lenses were great because I follow our buyer's guide. I mean, actually, I wrote the buyer's guide, so I knew what to get. But amazing option as well if you're looking for more of that athleisure. They also make a great everyday pair because of that athleisure design. Like I mentioned, that six base is really good on and off the court. Awesome frame. Check it out. So that wraps it up for our Pickleball Eyewear Buyer's Guide. I'm sorry it got a little bit long, but I'm very excited and I wanted to make sure that it was thorough. So hopefully you are just as passionate about this game as I have become. I can't wait to get back out on that court. If you are liking any of these styles or you want to browse some more options, stay tuned for a little longer for our Shop Now button that'll pop up real easy and convenient. Also, if you're ready to order, don't forget about that Seabitter Guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind and if peace of mind is your thing, us opticians, I'll mention them probably for the seventh time in this video, they are here and they are really wanting to help you out, make sure that you get the right thing the first time. It's like our whole reason for existing is to get you into the right pair of eyewear for your sport. So let us help you, reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you are ready to shop these styles or other options that are great for pickleball, click this button right here. It's real easy and convenient. If you're looking for more content to consume as we all are these days, check us out on our social media outlets. You can find us on our handle at SportRx.